Today on the channel, our Jazz Classic Superstars unboxing and reviews continue with Series 18, The Honky Tonk Man, Kane, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. The spirit of the warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jax Class Superstars unboxing and review. And today, we're diving into Jax Class Superstars Series 18 with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kane, and the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time, the Honky Tonk Man. But remember, for all your modern day wrestling figure needs to hit up ringside collectibles, use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Gotta get the deal all day long. Now today we're going to unbox these like we normally unbox these. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Like I said, we're in Series 18 of the Classic Superstars line. Holy cow, how did we get so far in? But there it is. There's old Kane looking really good. Of course, the classic, classic Superstars packaging design. We know it. We love it by now. We got Kane on the side of the package. Got Kane in there with a red fire extinguisher. Come on. Come on. What are we doing, Jax? That's a little... It's too soon. Too soon. Uh, but we get a good-looking version of Kane here. Kane, a guy didn't get a whole lot of classic Superstars figures. Of course, we got this one here. We did get the three-pack with Paul Bear and Undertaker. Kane, one of the worst figures of all time in that set, of course. And then we did get a Kane Vader two-pack, but that was an unmasked version of Kane. So this is really the only masked version of Kane in the entire lineup. But it does look pretty good. And I always say it, I'm no expert on Kane's uh, outfits. You know, his mask and his gloves and things like that and his singlets. Uh, so I can't tell you if this is 100% authentic. I'm not sure if it is, but I can definitely tell you that three-pack uh, with Taker and Paul Bear, that's hot garbage. That's hot garbage. But this, to my eye, looks pretty good. You got Kane on the side. I believe it says, Kane the Big Red Machine. Oh, the Big Red Machine. We got to love that. Uh, very, very cool there. Of course, on the back, we got the Series 18 Cross Cell. As usual, we'll be unboxing every single one of those every single Tuesday for well over two years now. We've been doing Jack's Class Superstars videos. Make sure you're checking them out. Got a playlist with years full, and we got years to come, of course. Patreon has tons of them in advance, as you guys know by now. Uh, but every single Tuesday, Jack's Class Superstars content here on the channel. Uh, UPC's warnings, tail of the tape, the old blurb, and of course, uh, the glamour shot for old Kane. Looking pretty. A uh, face only a mother could love, some might say. Let's see what it says about Kane. The Big Red Machine debuted 1997, 326 pounds, 7 feet tall. Finishing move, the Tombstone Pile Triver, and the Choke Slam from Hell. Uh, titles WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, Hardcore Champion, Tag Team Champion, and World Tag Team Champion. He gets around those title belts, that's for sure. Forgot to mention, he does come with an urn as well. We'll dive into all this here. Without further ado, let's get old Kane out of the package. All right, Kane's coming out. Maybe. Maybe coming out. There it is. Give it a little push. See you later up high. There it goes. Get out of here. Plastic prison time for Kane. A good-looking Kane. I like this one. There it is. Get the accessories out. Bam. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. Now, what does Kane and Eddie Guerrero have in common? Well, they both come with fire extinguishers in the Jack's classic superstars line. One to put the fire of himself out and one to put the fiery temper of Eddie Guerrero out, I guess. But it is a red fire extinguisher. Great for you figure photographers. You want to put this with your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, G.I. Joe Classifieds. Uh, a great accessory that could be used in many, many lines. Uh, interesting it came with Kane, though, here. Uh, kind of tongue-in-cheek, like I said. Then we do get the fabulous urn. We've seen this a million times throughout the Jax lines with The Undertaker, Paul Bearer, of course, Kane here today. Uh, so it is an urn. Not bad having an urn. Anytime you get an urn, you can always find a use for it. Have a jar full of urns if you need to. But then we get down to Kane. We get him in the package here. Uh, very, very interesting. Big, big figure here. Big old legs on Kane. Almost has a stance akin to a Titan Tron Live figure is almost how this one feels to me. Uh, but we do get more articulation than a Titan Tron Live figure. Uh, but he does have nice black gloves here. And then, of course, the hands do move. Very interesting that uh, he doesn't have the wrist movement. This, this hand is a gloved black hand, but no wrist movement, anything like that. It's totally separate. And I believe that's the only time we got that in this entire class. Superstars line. The rest of the time we had traditional hands that move side to side. Do got a little forearm guard right here. Of course, articulation on this, head movement, waist movement, arms go all the way around, bicep cut, 
single jointed elbow, wrist move on one side at least, uh, and then you get legs all the way up, and even a little over articulation. It's like that bad Sid Vicious break is what that looks like. Wow. Uh, so you do get crazy articulation with him. He's double jointed in his knees apparently. Uh, then you get the ankles uh, and then the single jointed knees. Now one eyesore on this that we still see with action figures to this day is the pins. The pins not being painted really does catch your eye. Uh, it does look really, really ugly there. So that is unfortunate. Uh, but it is a classic cane singlet. I always like this where it's kind of the fishnet. You can kind of see through to the skin. Always felt that was a good look for Kane. Of course, the black and the red mask, very black in this one, even with the blue eye contacts in there. Uh, definitely a scary, scary looking individual. Uh, something out of a horror movie, which is, of course, the way Kane was supposed to be. Uh, black boots, very tall boots here. But a very, very good representation of Kane, and I would have to say the best version of Kane in the classic Superstar series. Uh, gun to my head for sure. A little bit of paint smudge on the singlet, but all in all, not bad. A little bit pale in the skin tone department, but guess what? Kane was awfully pale most of the time. I don't think he can hold this urn. Well, I well, he can't hold it. I didn't think so. But yeah, very, very cool accessories. You can't even hold them. That's how cool they are. Uh, but Kane, not a bad figure. Not bad at all. Uh, there's better Canes in the Jacks line for sure, but this is uh, pretty good for what it is. A one-off stop in the Classic Superstars line, I guess we'll call it. So there is Kane. Now we turn our attention to the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time, the old Honky Tonk Man. I even got his shirt on today. You guys know I love a good Honky Tonk Man figure. Something about Honky Tonk Man when I was a kid just captured my imagination. Always felt he was better than Elvis, too. Yeah, I'm going to say it right here. I'm sure a lot of us did as well. Uh, but the Honky Tonk Man returns to the Class Superstars line, this time in his white jumpsuit. Uh, very interesting. One of the very, very few times in Honky Tonk Man history we do not get a guitar as an accessory with him. So that is a little note to the side there. Honky on the side. And a little Honky Tonk Man on that side. And then the back, of course, we got the blur. We got the tail of the tape. We got the glamour shot. We got the UPCs. We got the warnings. Got the cross sell. Got a lot of fun. That's what we got right there. But let's read the back, see what it says about the old Honky Tonk Man. Debuted 1987, 271 pounds, height six foot one. Finishing move, of course, you'll shake, rattle, and roll. Titles, WWE Intercontinental Champion. I would have loved to see him and Greg Valentine as Rhythm and Blues get a little bit of a title run as tag champs back in the day. Never was in the cards, unfortunately. But we're going to get Honky out from Series 18. Let's get him out of the package. See what all the fuss is about, as one might say. Get them all out here. There he is, Honky, off to the races. See you later, goodbye. And plastic prison time, Honky Tonk Man. There he is, the white jumpsuit. Intercontinental title, microphone. We've seen those before. Got to get the most out of your accessories, as we always say. All right, Honky, come on. What are we doing? There we go, he fought me. See you later, goodbye. Uh, Intercontinental title, same one we've seen numerous times in this line. Just getting the reuse out of that, of course. Same thing with the black microphone. Seen it many a time. So nothing really going to set the world on fire with those accessories for sure. But the cool thing about this Honky Tonk Man, as you can imagine, is the jumpsuit. That's what we're paying for with these honkies. Of course, the last one was the black jumpsuit. This is the white jumpsuit. And my favorite Honky Tonk Man figure is that three-pack with Greg Valentine, Jimmy Hart in the blue jumpsuit. But very similar to the others. All white going on. Got some gray down here, of course. Uh, and then you get the musical notes all over the place. Really saying, hey, it is the Honky Tonk Man. I don't recommend ever taking this jumpsuit off because it never goes back on correctly. It is very difficult to get off, very difficult, even more difficult to get back on. Just not the way to go. But, of course, he does have his blue tights, blue uh, outfit on underneath. Uh, we saw it on the back of the package there. Uh, Honky, of course, has his hands up. Uh, very good. He's not a member of the Four Horsemen. We know that. But it is good for guitar playing. Unfortunately, no guitar with this Honky Tonk Man, which is weird. Uh, very, very strange. But I guess we got the Intercontinental title and the microphone as his accessory. So, have to roll with that. Uh, this head-on Honky Tonk Man, we have seen that before. So, once again, got to get the most out of your molds. We have seen that uh, before as well. But all the same articulation as Kane, except we do get two hands that move for this Honky Tonk Man. So we definitely do like that a whole lot. But man, you can't beat a Honky Tonk Man figure. I'm here for Mattel to give us some more Honky Tonk Mans. I hope that does happen uh, down the line. Not going to hold my breath too long for it, but I hope it does happen. Uh, we need more Honky Tonk Mans in our life. But now we turn our attention over to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Of course, Stone Cold returning to the line. And he wasn't in the Jax Class Superstars line too much. He was in some two-packs for sure. 
We did get another version like this in the black uh, vest, the traditional black vest. Uh, we also got an LJN inspired edition. So he was in there uh, a fair amount, but not as much as a big time star as Stone Cold. You think we might have got more Stone Cold Steve Austins. Uh, we also got that Flying Brian Pillman two-pack, the Hollywood Blondes. That was pretty good. Uh, but that's a classic Stone Cold there. I mean, the red uh, the red redneck, I guess uh, we'll call it there. But he's got his vest, of course, the red lettering on it. He does come with a pop can because he loved good soda pop. We all know that. Uh, but there he is on the side, Stone Cold. And on this side, Stone Cold. Of course, in the glamour shots here, as you can see on the back, he is listed in a soft goods vest. That did not come out until a WWE Shop Zone exclusive down the line. We'll talk about that eventually, but th that was when we got that. Got the big cross sell blurb, uh, glamour shot, and tail of the tape. Let's see what it says about Steve Austin here. 1996, he made his debut as Stone Cold, of course. Weight 255 pounds, six foot two. Finishing move, the Million Dollar Dream, and the Stone Cold Stunner. Titles, WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, Royal Rumble winner, King of the Ring, WCW United States Champion, WWE Tag Team Champion, WCW World Tag Team Champion. So good for him. Making it happen on a daily basis. And it is totally different vest, of course, on the back here than we got. Actually, a different body style as well. So he's got a, I think, one, two, three... Yeah, he's got a very much more cut-up torso here, more of a cruiserweight torso, where he got more of a heavyweight torso on the back of the package. So definitely some differences there on that Stone Cold. But let's get him out of the package now. Pull those Stone Cold out. There it is. Off to the races, up high. See you later. And then the plastic prison, there it is. Look at that. He does come with a beer can, pop can. Eh, choose your own can adventure. What kind of, is it a can of green beans? It could be whatever you want it to be. Pull them out, off the races, see you later, there it is. And then we've seen these cans before many times over the years, just plain Jane. Uh, you could go the extra mile, get some stickers made, put something on there, put a little Budweiser, Steve Weiser on there if you needed to, but it is a decent enough accessory. Then you get Stone Cold out of the ugh, out of the package, and we're off to the, stat, the Jack's sticky disease right here. He's got a sticky vest, unfortunately. Ah, I touched it, ah, gross. Uh, but he's got the sticky vest going on. The vest does say Austin, does have the skull, does say 316. Got the old Stone Cold on the back. We're going to have to give this a workover with a little plastic tape. Uh, counteract that sticky disease. But man, this head sculpt, next level. Fabulous, fabulous head sculpt. Just as good as anything Mattel's given us in this day and age. I absolutely love this head. Screaming head, Steve Austin. He's got a beautiful fist there. One gripping hand. All the articulation we saw with Kane, of course. I do like the attention to detail. Getting both of his knee braces. Of course, Steve and his poor knees. Uh, two knee braces going on. Uh, they do come undone very easily. So that is a little annoying that you got to pop these back in all the time. But... I guess it is really just good attention to detail, though, at the end of the day. Uh, he does have two knee pads, two black knee pads underneath that as well. So his knees, plenty protected, of course. Uh, then they gave him tennis shoes, it almost looks like. But I guess they are black boots, but very tennis shoe. Almost looks like some Nikes down here. Uh, black trunks, as Stone Cold always wore. Very, very plain, of course, Stone Cold. But he was no frills. He was a hard-working man just out there to uh, take it to Vince McMahon and the McMahon family, the corporation, all that kind of stuff, as we all know. But unfortunately, he is the one that drew the short straw and got the Jack Sticky disease. Always unfortunate. We hate to see it. But it happens, as we know. So there it is, Kane, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and the Honky Tonk Man from Jack's Class Superstars Series 18. You guys in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on these three. What do you think? You picking all these up? You passing? Uh, Kane a little bit shorter than uh, the rest of the crew here, which is a little strange. Uh, that's the way it goes sometimes with Jax, though, as we do know. But let me know your thoughts on these three in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Every Tuesday, we got Jax Class Superstars videos, and you don't want to miss one. You, too, can be a Jax Class Superstars expert. Just follow along on a weekly basis. And then don't forget to follow along over on Patreon. Link in the description below. You can get videos like this much, much earlier. Months early. Months and months. Like five, six months earlier in some cases. Uh, bonus content, exclusive content, and best of all, you do support the channel via the Patreon. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget to follow along on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kane, and the Honky Tonk Man, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.